Hey everyone, today we are taking a look at the Empire Helix, which is this right here. And we have mentioned the Empire Helix before in other videos, but we realized it never actually got its own video, so we thought we would do that. And this mask is a really nice mask, especially for the price. Like, it does not cost a lot of money, but it still has lots of great features. It is totally a service serviceable mask. And um, it's just really good for either, you know, beginners getting into the sport, people that just don't want to drop a bunch of money on their mask, but still have it actually work. And it comes with a, you know, decent amount of features. First and foremost being a dual pane lens. It does come with a dual pane lens, so you're not going to be battling fog the whole time, which is the most important part of any mask, to be honest. Uh, it comes in a couple different colors. You can get this olive green one, or it does come in black if you prefer that. Uh, it has a sun visor, and the sun visor is removable, so if you don't want the sun visor, you can just take it off, which is always a plus. Uh, the strap is rubberized. There's some little rubber sort of veins on it, and that's going to keep it from slipping off your head, which is always nice. And the chin strap has this little soft bit, so, you know, your chin strap's not going to scrape or chafe your neck, which is a plus. Uh, as for the lens change system, I am going to show you guys how to do that. It's not very hard. It's, um, you know, it's, I, would, I would put it at like medium difficulty for a lens change system. It's not the easiest one in the world, but it's not hard by any stretch of the imagination. I'm sure you can figure it out on your own, but either way, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find these little tabs right here and they actually say lift on the tab. Don't know why they say lift, because honestly, you're gonna pull it. It's not really a lifting action, but pull it, and it should just pop out just like that, and you're gonna put it to the side. After that, you're gonna grab the entire strap, and you're gonna rotate it upward. Once you get it all the way up, you'll be able to push on this piece right here and just pop it through the frame of the lens. Then you're just gonna put that to the side and do it to the other side. Once you have those pieces out, you'll see that the strap is no longer attached and the lens can just gently be pried out. It is going to be held on by the nose, so you want to lift a little bit. And there you go. Pops out like that. You can clean it. You can switch it out for another lens, do whatever you got to do to put it back in. First, you're going to guide it back into that little nose slot. push down until you kind of feel it get into place. You want to check and make sure that the holes on the mask and the lens line up. Then you're going to grab these little pieces again. You will find that the pieces are marked with an R or an L depending on which side they are so you don't have to guess which is nice. And then you're just going to feed the big piece back in. Now you want to take the strap again rotate it upwards so it fits over that big piece. Feed the big piece through the strap and then rotate it back down into place. You'll feel it click into place. Once you do that, you're going to take that tiny little pull tab thingy and just pop it into the slot. And then that's what you do. That's done. Now you're just going to do it to the other side. Feed that through. Rotate and pop the locking piece back in. And you're done. So there you have it. Not very difficult. Honestly, it just, you know, takes you a minute or two to, to change the lens, so that's always a plus. And uh, that is the Empire Helix. It is a really, really nice mask for not a lot of money. So like I said earlier, if you're looking to get a new mask and you just don't wanna drop hundreds of dollars on it, uh, definitely take a look at this. It absolutely will get the job done and um, yeah, like I said earlier, it doesn't fog up, which is the really the most important thing in a mask. If you buy a mask and then it fogs up, well, that was a waste of money. Like, that's it. Um, but what do you guys think? Do any of you guys use a Helix? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for watching.